Hi everybody, this is Reese Palmer from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching the wax removal video today. Uh, we've got some really dry wax in this particular patient's ear canal. Now this particular patient tends to produce a very, very dry type wax. It tends to harden really quickly. It's a very dark type wax as well that comes out this particular patient's ear canal. What you can see here, we've got some quite dense cilia at the entrance. We do get past these in a little bit but you'll see these longer, hard strips of wax that come away in this particular patient's ear canal. Um, now this gent has to come through roughly about every six months to get this done. Um, you may remember, we uh, recently we put our uh, sort of biggest earwax plug that I think I've ever taken out of somebody's ear up. Uh, that was actually this gent. Uh, you can see he's come through now, uh, this is 12 months later actually from that video, I think. And you can see we've got these really, really thick, hard pieces that have just adhering to the canal wall. Now you do tend to find they get a little bit longer in this particular patient as well. So we're just chipping away here at the outside edge. You can see these are the pieces there to the right hand side. You can see just past uh, the suction tube there, another section of waxes. We're just getting through the little cilia here on the outside part of the ear. And as we're drawing this suction down the canal, it's starting to pick all these little bits up that are off on the, uh, on the canal walls as well. So it's coming away really, really well. There we go, you can see another chunky piece coming out there. Look at the color of it, it's almost black in color. And this wax isn't that old, it's only about six months old. So we talk a lot about you know, darker wax being older wax. It's not always the case. Sometimes patients, patient, my goodness, I can't my teeth in today. The, my patients will produce a much darker type of wax sometimes and that's exactly what's happening here. So we're just picking this up. You can see it's crumbling, it's that dry, it's all just breaking away in little pieces as we take this out. And even as we're bringing the suction tube out, it's catching little pieces on the outer part of the ear canal as well. There we go, you can see those bits jumping almost off that canal there towards the suction. And uh, we're just gonna slowly ease back on this, take this out. There we go. Out that comes, you can see quite a, quite a flat and angular piece. These are the bits that have been stuck to the sides of the canal wall here. Just gonna take some of these looser bits off the side. There we go. You can just see to the right hand side of this little bit tucked around a corner. Let's lift this off. Now this patient also has very, very sensitive ear canals, this patient. So I was a little bit more conscious about taking these thinner pieces off the canal wall. Uh, just because this patient does tend to feel uh, not so much pain, but he, he'll express it. There's this little bit of discomfort there as it starts to come away. Just got this last little bit. There we go. That's looking lovely. There's the eardrum there looking nice and healthy. You can see that little uh, piece of wax there at the entrance. This is what it looks like afterwards. So a very, very different ear canal there. So this is the other ear canal. Now we've got a much longer piece of wax in here uh, that we're gonna to need to work down. Now this complicated slightly by the fact the entrance to the canal here is very narrow. So what we've got is a slightly wider canal uh, and a longer piece of wax. So we've got to try and get through this little narrow gap here. Now when the wax is nice and really soft, solid, it means it's going to get through that gap really easily. When it's crumbly and that little bit uh, drier like it is in this particular case, what you'll find is as you start to bring this down the canal, which you'll see we get a grip on this piece of wax, there we go, just lift it off the canal there. As we start to bring this out of the canal and get it to the entrance, because the entrance collapses down, when we take the suction tube out, the entrance then collapses back down again. It tends to break these pieces of wax, these longer pieces away. You can see what I mean just here. So we've got the suction tube through, but now that canal entrance has started to collapse down on top of that piece of wax. And I'm trying to tease this through, yeah, you can see it just sheared off there. We could tell it sheared off just because that front end, the movement was just, there was just too much movement there for it to still be attached to the piece behind. But we're getting some good sized pieces out of this one as well. Just got the Jobson horn in here now. Now I find that a little bit more effective sometimes when you try to pull the wax through these very narrow canals. But as we're moving across the top, it's crumbling the wax. You can see it just, just disintegrating in front of the, uh, the Jobson horn there. So we've got to scoop quite low. There we go, I pull the whole thing through. I'm not gonna to attempt to pick that up. Uh, you can see it's not gonna go with the Jobson horn. So we'll grab that with a little bit of suction so you can see what that looks like. There you go. Let's lift that up and I've got another little piece just below it. There we go, that's the other part. Whoops, doesn't even want to be picked up with suction guys. It just doesn't want to come out today. It's a bit camera shy, bless it. So you can see it's out, it's come. Let's take a look behind that now. How are we looking there? A oh, little bit just at the entrance. So you can see these tiny pieces are broken away off this main plug here, just inside the entrance to the canal. So we're just gonna to start to remove those thinner pieces. There's a lot of those little tiny weeny pieces to take away. 
There we go. Out that comes. You can see it's almost going inside the suction tube, but it's not quite. It's just a little bit too, a uh, little bit too wide to up the suction tube. We've got this long, flat piece of wax here, just stuck to that bottom left corner. That's going to come out. Now I can see a much deeper section of wax, much, much further in. So let's get rid of all these little pieces here at the entrance. There we go. And let's go back in now. You can see that very, very deep section. So this actually was one continuous plug, but it started to break down. As soon as we moved it, you could see it just started to break down. So we've got rid of that very last section there. Let's see if we can give this, can we get this out? No, it just doesn't want to come out. It's a little bit too wide. So we're just going to sneak over the top here with the Jobson horn. There we go. And roll this down the canal. There we are, out that comes. Now I can see a couple of little bits of debris left in this. We're gonna to have to go back in and tidy those up now in a second. A little bit of dry skin, that creamy colored material underneath there as well. So let's get rid of that one. And if we take a look behind, there we go. A couple of little pieces to pick up in the suction. Now if this was just that little bit softer, what we do is pop onto those little pieces. A lot of that we just get sucked straight inside the tube. But because they are a little bit harder, they're blocking the entrance to the tube. Sometimes you're a bit lucky and you might, uh, what's the best way to describe it? If you ever try to hoover something up off the floor, and the end of the, t the, the pipe there, you get something long and thin that's crossed the end. You can still hoover, but the bits get stuck in the end. That's a bit like what it's like here. Uh, so we're just gonna take these little loose bits off the edge there and there, there you go. And let's get rid of that bit as well. Ooh, nearly, nearly. <laughs> just trying to play. The patient was actually talking to me at this point, so I was aiming for this one tiny little piece of wax where the patient was talking to you because I was doing this. So it was really difficult to try and aim and, and sort of drop straight on top of it. There we go. And if we take a look behind, there we are. Oh, look at that one piece. We'll leave that one there. And now we won't, of course we won't, guys. We're going to grab that bit as well. Um, but you can see the eardrum beyond looking really, really healthy there. Let's grab that little section. And should we take that bit out for good measure? There you go, let's get rid of that bit as well. So it looks really healthy in there. There you go, there's the eardrum looking better. Much, much better than when we started. So let's show you what we took out, shall we? So we've got four and a half centimeters, just over, oh, I'm gonna say just over one and a half inches there. You could say just under one and three quarter inches. Yeah dealer's choice, whatever you fancy. But quite a bit and very, very dark. And this is hard wax. It's really crumbly and quite angular as well. Well, thank you so much for watching that video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, then subscribe to the channel. But as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone.